don't think the country is cheap. Now, yeah, you can get good food that's cheap if you just want to go for falafel and hummus, but it can get quite expensive, especially the accommodation. Now, for a hostel, you pay around $15 to $20 per night. And if you want to have a hotel room, it very easily goes to $50, $60, $70, $100 dollars per night. So don't make the mistake of just thinking it's a very cheap country. Bear that in mind and just look for good deals online before you go there. Don't forget to book the tours before you go to the Wadi Rum Desert. Now, if you want to do a tour through the Wadi Rum, you know, you're sleeping in one of those camps, you want to do a tour, book one of those tours and the experiences beforehand. Because if you arrive at the camp and, you know, you want to haggle, it won't work. Do that before, see where they have the best prices. Maybe, you know, get together with some people, do it together, that will pull down the price. Don't just shake hands with the women there. Wait if they offer you the hand. It's a Muslim country, so a lot of the women there don't shake hands with men. So, you know, be respectful, and if the woman offers you to shake the hand, shake the hand, otherwise don't just, you know, point your, your hand to the woman, because, you know, maybe they don't want to do that. Don't forget to haggle. Now, it's an Arab country where a lot of people haggle. It's very normal, especially when you go to the markets. So don't forget to do that because the price that you hear in the beginning is not the price that in the end you have to pay or that people pay. It's normal, you know, to haggle and, and, and talk about the price. Now, one tip I can give you is to speak to locals and ask them, maybe your guide or the hotel, you know, like, I want to buy this scarf at the market. How much should I pay? What's normal? Because then you have an idea of, you know, going to the market of how much it should cost and you know how much you can haggle. Don't try diving in the Dead Sea. Now it's very salty and diving is not possible because of the buoyancy. It's 34% it's salt, which just <laughs> will make your eyes burn when you try to dive into it. How do I know? I tried it. Not a good idea, so don't do that. Another thing is to be careful, you know, when you shave before, because um, all these little open wounds, you know, when you go in the Dead Sea, the salt will come in and it will burn like crazy. Don't shave before, don't try to dive. Otherwise, just enjoy floating in the Dead Sea. Don't think Jordan is just desert and hot. Now, it is desert and it can get hot, but also it can get quite cold, especially in the desert at night, so bring something warm. And there's other places, there's even areas where it snows. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of variety, you know, the Red Sea with beautiful beaches, the desert, of course, some mountains, um, lush and nice canyons. So much to see, a lot of variety, not just desert and super hot. Don't forget to buy the Jordan Pass before you visit the country. Now, now this pass covers the visa fee, the entrance to Petra and the entrance to a lot of other sites. A lot of people think you can get the Jordan Pass at the airport, but that's wrong. You have to get it before. So don't make that mistake. Don't fall for the scams, especially at Petra. There's a lot of tourists coming and when there's a lot of tourists, you know, people, sometimes try to scam them. Let's just say it how it is, unfortunately. And one of those scams is the horseback rides. Now, it will say on your ticket that the horseback rides are included, and they technically are, but the people will expect a hefty tip, so I recommend you not to do it. Plus, it's just a short walk anyways. Don't do it because you will start arguing with the people there if you say it's free, and it's just a very unpleasant experience. Furthermore, you know, there's a lot of things you can buy in, in Petra, and sometimes they will put a wristband on your arm and say it's free, but then you you know, they want you to give them money. Just try to be aware, and especially in the touristy places, such as Petra, avoid the scams and don't fall for them. If you go into Jordan, don't feel uncomfortable if the guy grabs your hand to just show you around. Now, this is especially for guys. Men there, you know, they hold hands while they walk around, especially when they get along well. Now, it's nothing to do with being gay or whatsoever. It's just the way it's done there. Maybe a bit uncomfortable for us, but you know, if you really want to take a deep dive into the culture, just go along with it. it. Happened to me several times. The guy just took the hand. It feels a bit uncomfortable, but it's just the way it's done there. Now, last but not least, don't forget to say shukran. This is maybe one of the most important things, at least that's what I think. Shukran means thank you, and it's always nice, you know. People always appreciate it when you just learn a little bit of their language. And, I mean, to, to say thank you, that's the least you can do. Shukran, thank you, very easy to remember. People will be happy if you know a bit. And if you keep those things in mind, I guarantee you, you will have a fantastic, fantastic uh, time in Jordan. It's a beautiful country. So just don't do these 10 things and you will have a fine and fantastic time.